One area I really do want to highlight, which I think is really disturbing in terms of a complete failure of government in managing your money properly, is the sale of uh, land gra uh, three Landgate properties in Midland. Now I've spoken to experts in this field, people that actually develop properties for rental, and they tell me that the minimum valuation for that property should be around five, uh, $5,000 per square metre. That would mean that that property uh, should have sold um, for $68.5 million. What did the government sell it for? The government sold those properties for $17.3 million. But it should have been sold for $68.5 million. I mean, the best spin the government can put on this is that they sold that building for $40 million less than it was worth. Now, the government are going to continue to lease the building that they, or the buildings that they once owned. So they're going to continue leasing them for the next 15 years. Let's imagine the government was right and those buildings were actually worth $27.8 million. Because they're a blue chip, uh, long-term uh, leaseholder, uh, I'm told that the typical yield an investor would expect is around 5%. Uh, now 5% of, if we include the upgrades, 5% of $27.8 million is around $1.4 million per annum. How much rent do you reckon the government are paying? The government are actually going to pay about $5.7 million uh, rent every year on that property. We've got a cabinet, none of them have any commercial experience, who didn't even look at it and go, hang on, we're selling it for 17.3, but we're gonna pay $85 million in rent over the next 15 years. That doesn't sound like a very good deal. There was no one there who, who had the acumen to do that. So either it was a monument, monumental muck up, or either there's something fishy going on. Now, I, I don't know, and, and I, I believe, in fact, this is just gross incompetence.